Okay, so we're going to talk about break-even analysis and uh, go over an example. We got several questions from the quiz, so just want to make sure everyone's on on page or on the same page with me. So again, from the, our business plan discussion, a financial assessment uh, within the business plan should include a break-even analysis, uh, which kind of talks about startup cost, gives uh, financial documents for the first one to three years, uh, and we're going to talk more about financial documents later in the semester. The break-even analysis more specifically, which is something you need to know for the exam, talks about how long until you're truly profitable. So how many prescriptions do you need to sell? How many MTMs do you need to perform? How many flu shots do you need to give? What are the, what are the units of measurement? How many units do you need to uh, sell, make a profit off of, pay back your debts to where you actually break even, as the name implies? So a break-even analysis, uh, you have variable costs, but this, this red line uh, gives you, uh, actually, uh, the, the equation that's going up, this represents your variable costs, while your fixed costs are below that. So again, it actually crosses the y-intercept, if you remember from uh, algebra. So it's actually like your fixed costs are at a certain point. So before you sell the first unit, you've already spent money. Uh, and now your total revenue goes up at a faster rate than your variable cost. If that wasn't the case, then you need to get out of business. Um, the break-even point is when your total revenue re equals your total cost. And this red line essentially represents total cost, not just variable cost. It's uh, fixed plus variable, okay? So total cost equals total revenue. Here's break-even point. Everything beyond this would essentially be uh, profit. So again, point where total revenue equals total cost. Total revenue uh, should be basically a price per unit times the number of units. Your total cost would be your total fixed cost plus your variable cost. Um, and again, so, so when you're looking at the revenue versus the cost equation, there isn't a fixed revenue calculated in, this, in these examples, okay? So there's no, the y-intercept is zero, right? So you're starting, once you sell units, you start making revenue. And then uh, you can kind of rewrite your total cost essentially are your fixed cost plus, again, another value that's a cost per unit, just like revenue, uh, instead of price per unit, it'd be cost per unit uh, times the number of units. So if we use an example, Joe's Pharmacy is a startup retail pharmacy that projects to dispense 20,000 prescriptions in year one and earn a total revenue of $2 million. The business plan also estimates the fixed cost to start up uh, will be a total of a, a million dollars, and the variable cost will be approximately sixty dollars per prescription filled in year one. In what year will Joe's Pharmacy reach break-even? So we're, we've got to take the information that's given to give us a good estimation, to give us a good idea of of when we think this business would uh, would reach break-even. So let's just take the variables and break it down. Your total revenue is, uh, is estimated, thanks to our, our estimation from our year one data, is at two million per year. That's, so in year two, uh, we hope to at least make this, if not more, um, but we could be conservative and say that we'll make the same revenue and you know, we won't say we don't have an increase. So we're at two million a year. We know that that takes about 20,000 prescriptions to reach that two million dollar mark, which turns out if you just do a little math, that uh, you know, two million divided by twenty thousand prescriptions give you gives you about a hundred dollars of revenue per prescription. Uh, you can take that rev so now you see the equation that's formulating. So your total revenue equation is zero because you started with zero dollars in revenue, um, and for a hundred dollars per prescription multiplied by the number of prescriptions will equal your total overall revenue over time. Now we need to set up our total cost equation. We have a fixed cost, which I gave you in the problem of a million dollars. A variable cost, which I also gave you in the, pro uh, in the problem at sixty dollars. So now you can easily set up an equation that your total cost equation would equal one million dollars plus your variable sixty multiplied by a uh, the variable or multiplied by the variable x or whatever you want to call it number of prescriptions. Number of prescriptions multiplied by the cost plus the million dollars that you start out with when startup cost gives you your total cost equation. So 
Total revenue equals total cost. That's the point that we want to find. When does the variable of number of prescriptions equal each other? When, when do both equations equal each other? So this is very basic algebra. Um, so you can set it up and replace, you know, uh, if you want to make it, try to make it simple. Again, number of prescriptions is the same variable on both sides. So let's just call that x, you know, as, as you would in, uh, in any other algebra equation. So we have 0 plus 100x equals 1 million plus 60x. We subtract 60x from uh, the right side of the equation to the other side and get the variable on one side, and we find that 40x equals $1 million. This lets us know that it's going to take us, uh, it's going to take, x will equal 25,000, or, or we will essentially have to sell 25,000 prescriptions before total revenue equals total cost. So how long does it take to dispense 25,000 prescriptions at a rate we're assuming of 20,000 prescriptions per year? So that'd essentially just be 1.25 years. So you've got uh, 20 prescriptions per year, you need to dispense 25,000 prescriptions. 5K, the extra 5K will be done in the first three months of the second year. So now let's go back to our Example, Joe's Pharmacy Startup uh, is a retail pharmacy projects to dispense uh, 20,000 prescriptions in year one and earn a total revenue of $2, two million. The business plan also estimates the fixed cost to start up a uh, total of a million and variable costs will be approximately 60 per prescription in year one. In what year will Joe's Pharmacy reach break even? And so our answer is going to be year two. Or exact, if you want to be more specific, we would think that it would be 1.25 or one year and three months after startup, we will reach break even.